Um, so you're my cutting stream out a lot dropped. Yeah, no, my, my, stream, my stream just dropped for no reason, but it's up again. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, it, sh it should be up again. Uh, we haven't missed anything yet. Uh, barracks and stable coming up for Nilfgaard. And another barracks. Uh, it's pretty standard to go like two or three barracks, uh, two or three stables and then a few barracks behind that and then go siege workshops and castles in a Kelv war. Yep. And Nilly is definitely off to a way better start. Definitely. Well, maybe not way better, well, but better for sure. He has more buildings up earlier. I think that makes for a better start. He's already four, five military ahead so early. And, and Berka oh, won't even queue his stable. <laughs> Berka only has three buildings, or he had three buildings, and he doesn't even need a stable. Come on, man. <laughs> Not like um. this. <laughs> um, yeah, but he should be fine, I think. Uh, he's making more and more doing... Um, To anyone. He's doing some suicide yeah. running in. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, what? Um, can you explain why the players are making halberdiers and not champions? For all the players who might not, I'm not familiar with the way how the M War is played. Uh, the thing about champs, like Celts is a lot more like food demanding than you would think, and the champs will just go down by siege. Um, and so really, like the halbs are almost like a better way to prevent the rush at the start of the game when you're trying to raid with the paladins. So in DM we call that a rush, is where you send your first pound to so go try to get villagers. So then you use them for that, and then you might say like, well then why don't you just do only a couple halb and then champion after that. Personally, I think halb and champ are like roughly equivalent. Like you don't worry so much about their melee fight against other units so much as you want them just to catch like the siege off guard. More likely than not though, they're just gonna get by siege, and so you don't want to waste as much food. Uh, so it's pretty much a meat shield, just the halberdiers are cheaper and die nearly as quickly as champs. Right. All right. Now, another thing though too, is like, like I've had this debate a lot, like do you use champs or do you use halb? It's not like in DM we only use halb, it's definitely not the case. Like, there's plenty of good DMers who use champ instead of halb, so it's, it's really not like cut and dry. Um, but what's really weird about this is that both players are making siege on Ager. Uh, Scorpion with Ram is way better than doing Siege on Azure early in this war. I think a lot of uh, players would debate you on that. Until yeah, they you would, them wrong. of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, watch watch any of my recent Celt Wars and then you'll see. Uh, yeah, those those uh, Siege on Azure are just not as effective, you would think. Um, Although at this point, Nilly has a lot of them in a very kind of a fairly tight space, so I guess at this at this point that would be pretty effective. Yeah, he's but, has uh, he's having a very good position here, and Baraka doesn't have anything to challenge him at the moment. Queuing up a ton of, I mean, just loads of siege managers. He's got 15 queued in one. Uh, uh, what is that, Baraka or? Siege workshop. Yeah, Baraka does. Oh my! Oh my God! One in siege, one 15 in one, and the other ones are empty, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Not, not the best. Baraka seems a little bit sloppy in these games. Yeah, well, the skirmisher start of the first game. I think that says it all right there. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at Nilly. He has like a a monk sitting there on the right, just chilling. Uh, where? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just hanging out. Yeah, just, no big just deal. don't don't mind me. I'm just standing here. Oh my uh, god, look at all these siege on it just. These, these could get uh, get down a castle in no time. Oh just yeah, you're right, good. Oh my god, all the... I never like having this many siege on I always feel like they're getting sniped, you know, like... Uh, I'm not good with siege on like myself, a... like I always lose them somehow. I, 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 I don't know what investment. players are do, doing with their on how they control them. I think they just let them be and I like to control them and run them into their death. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it feels. <laughs> I mean, oh my god, look at that. Like, nothing comes close to these onages. Yeah, Nilly's actually doing fairly well, though. I mean, sorry, Barakot's doing fairly well here. Yeah. These fights are not really that bad for him. They're pretty cost efficient. Thing is, if Siege on just don't have a meat shield uh, bef um, in front of them and get ca caught, 
uh, can right. cut off guards. They die pretty quickly, actually, because of the minimum range, of course. Now advancing on the left side of the map as well is Nilfurd, but it seems like it will get stopped by these cults, uh, the, these ward raiders and paladins who are now stopping and not killing the traps. All right, um, <clears throat> never mind then. But it seems like Baraka is advancing in the middle of the map. Nice. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely winning that middle fight. Who has the siege yeah, on those... advantage now? <laughs> Uh, yeah, just so many siege onagers. I mean, you look at you look at his army. It's just siege onagers and howls with some load raiders. It's like that should be pretty easy to enter, but maybe not. You're the expert here. You have to say. <laughs> the, the only thing that would make it kind of hard is <clears throat> is the 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 forest around it kind of make a little bit of a bottleneck situation. But other than that, I don't know. Well, you could flank the I would say it's an easy camp. The top. If you wanted to. <clears throat> oh, raiding coming really in from the world. Really nice raids, though. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And the thing is, Erka still hardly any eco. Um, especially no wood. You would think you need some wood. So that's going to be a problem. Of course, in Celts, you always need a lot more food than you would think. Like, they both are starving on food. <laughs> yeah, you you run out but, of resources so quickly. It's, uh, it's so... Um, what, what do you want to say? Depressing sometimes, how quickly you run out of food. Right. I never can get enough food. I always lose, because I have no food. It's like Frank War. I never have food. Oh, really? Frank's is tough on food, yeah. Frank's <laughs> is like, it's so hard to balance the timing of making farms. That's like by far the hardest sieve to balance your ego. Because it's not only balancing in terms of how many to make, but it's also really hard to balance in terms of like what timing to make them. You don't want to make, you know, villagers too quickly or at least queue too many at a time because then you kind of like, you can put too much resources into that and then they could just put less resources into making villagers and more into paladin and then beat you. So it's like a really tough thing to balance. Oh yeah, but um, it's concentrating on the game again. Um, yeah. <laughs> still nice raiding coming in from the Vote Raiders, and mm, nearly doesn't really let Baraka develop any economy whatsoever, while he's massing up army to push um, Baraka's main siege army back. And seems like those Vote Four Vote Raiders are cutting all the onages up and all the siege. And the siege onagers themselves wreck their own siege. All right, that's a little bit dangerous with siege onagers not to get your own trap trebuchets. All yeah. sniping army. And yeah, ward raiders still doing a lot of is, work. Is this? This is definitely getting ugly for Beric. Yeah. Uh, he's pretty much you close to the from all sides. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they're both <laughs> struggling on the food, thing, but it just Nilly looks so much more secure and having a lot more farms. He's just everything's going well for him. Baraka, like it's almost like he's kind of desperately attacking, and plus his economy just keeps getting killed. <laughs> yeah, this is this is pretty ugly so far. It'd be for Baraka to come back here. And there's the GG. Okay, yeah, well, Nilfer takes this best of five series in the group stage. Really well played. I'd say he did the right moves to outplay his opponent. Yeah, that was that was good. They definitely made like the better strategical moves. Of course, the, the Franks could have been a little bit better, but other than that, made the right choices, or at least better choices than Baraka. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Nilford saying in the stream, I never get into the stage of a Franks for where I need farms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, would you be in for another set of recorded games if I find one? Yeah, I mean, that was quick, sure. I can do that. I can do that. Okay.
let's see what we have here. We have one recorded game in the recorded game section. That's interesting. I thought there will be there would be more. Uh, we have Spring versus Queen Eden. Um, that was actually streamed last night by Mem, and it was it wasn't the best of games. Uh, well, <laughs> well, we we saw that saw them right live. Can't you remember? Oh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> where no, I know. I I didn't I didn't remember you were there, but that's right. There. Yeah, where Sp Spring was drunk a little bit, a little bit tipsy. Yeah, let's put it like Looking that. Looking at the stream chat, I see someone called me out on saying Celts, not Celts. Yeah. Too used to watching NBA, I guess. It's definitely Celts. I accidentally say that sometimes. <laughs> well, Celts, yeah. Because in, in, Germ in German, it's Kel Kelten. So for me, it's Celts. Kelten. 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 Right. Well, in general, it's definitely Celt and not Celt. But anyway. All right. Um. I think uh, we can end the stream here, then. <laughs> um, okay. Thank you, everybody, for yeah, watching. We'll... If you want some point of view action, I'm gonna stream myself playing some deathmatch uh, in a few minutes after I showered. And I hope you enjoyed. Anything you want to add, Callum? Uh, I think that's everything, man. <clears throat> I'm looking for the rest of the games, the group stage. I think there's some really good ones coming up tomorrow or on Friday, right? On tomorrow. And then um, I think Vinchester versus NBL will be one of the best, if not the best, of the group stage. And that will be played on Saturday, I think, or Sunday. I'm not sure which one they scheduled for, but that's going to be really cool. So anyway, good games to come. All right. Um, we're looking forward to it. And thank you, everybody, for watching.